This is Duke University. All right, my name is Jung San Kim, uh, and my main research interest is to think about how we're going to construct a quantum computer which computes and solves problems on a very different physical principles compared to a traditional computer that we know about. So unlike the classical computers where an information is stored in terms of zero or one, uh, the quantum computers can represent states uh, of both one and zero at the same time. Using quantum principles to compute is as different from classical computing as maybe a classical supercomputer is from an abacus. Quantum mechanical principles allow you to search through this massive solution space simultaneously in a much more efficient way because you can have states um, that occupy different possibilities all at the same time. Um, and an example of that would be, imagine you're trying to solve a puzzle, um, but if you're trying to randomly put it together um, and see if you can find the solution, classically it would take so many tries that it's almost infeasible. In quantum mechanical ways, we can do this in a way that all possible configurations are stored into a quantum uh, memory. And then we can actually uh, manipulate these states in a very careful way so that all the non-answers fade away very quickly and all the real answers emerge in a systematic way. So there are many experimental approaches to trying to realize quantum computing. Um, over the last maybe five years or so, a couple of systems have really become, uh, come out as, as some of the leading systems. So here at Duke, we are utilizing individually trapped atoms. These are individual um, atoms that we uh, suspend using electromagnetic field in ultra high vacuum and use the internal states of those atoms as uh, the quantum representation of information or, or qubits. Uh, and we utilize laser beams to manipulate those states. And we have shown that um, all the elementary operations that are needed to build much larger scale quantum computers can actually be constructed in a very effective way using very practical technological tools. Along with my collaborators at various institutions over the last 10 years, uh, we have raised grants on the order of $60 million that help us um, start from transition those scientific discoveries into much more practical systems. And we've come to a point where uh, we, we believe that even commercially viable systems can be put together. Um, and that's not just us. Many other companies like uh, big companies like Google and IBM and Microsoft and Intel are starting to make big investments. So we spun out a company along with my collaborators named IonQ. Um, and we are currently um, the unique in the sense that we are the only ones who are trying to accomplish this using trapped ions, atomic ions. Uh, uh, our collaboration actually has a small five qubit quantum computer that's very generally programmable. Uh, and then we think we know how to take this system and turn it into a much bigger system that are reliable and stable and much more scalable. But there is room for quantum computers to um, drive a lot of innovation in materials design, maybe chemical design, um, uh, drug design, and that type of applications. Um, and that could have a big impact on, on our commercial activities or everybody's lives.